All right, so let's have a look at what is in the, let's just press that hard enough, the dark mode notebooks. There's a pack of 10 that you can get in my Etsy shop, Wholehearted Me, and there is 10 different notepaper styles here. There's 25 sections and you can add, you can duplicate as many pages as you want in each section and you can write what everything is. So I will show you how to do that now. We're just gonna have a quick look at what's in the dark mode notebooks. But here's the deal. You, let's go into one. You have to use the duplicate page function when you want to add a page underneath. If you use this, if you use this function here, you will add a white page. And if you've got a dark mode notebook, it's probably because you like the dark pages. I love them. So let's uh, let's go and have a look at the big picture on that one. See down here, page 27, it's added page 28 as a white page. So I'm just gonna press and hold and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to show you Let's scroll down. Think of the screen as tissue paper. That's how lightly you can press and put your pen down because sometimes it interferes. So let's go, let's have a look. So here's the cover. We're going to make sure we're in the pen that we want and the color that we want. I want white and I want medium so that you can, I'll do thick so you can see better. So this is going to be my to-do list today. So you can write your title. You can always put your menu bar away. You can see the spine of the book. Um, but let's just flag over. Now, I don't know if you know, but this section here helps you flick back and forward. Let me close this. So then what you'll start to see, if I go that way, you can see one, two, we're on second section, third section, fourth section, come on, five section. Now, let's go in the other direction. I'm going backwards, can you see that? Backwards, 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 forwards. When it gets it, forward, forward, forward. <laughs> you gotta get it right in the, what is that? Right on the, I'm pressing too hard. Just tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper. Backwards, backwards, backwards. So just so you know, there's a spot here on your Remarkable that will allow you to navigate backward and forward. You can also do it another way by just selecting the page you're on. So let's go to page seven. We know we're on page seven. Uh, it's, oh, we're on page seven, but it's actually section five. So we're on section five and we want to insert a page. So the way to do it in dark mode, because of what Remarkable does and doesn't have right now. Um, so see, it says current. That's how you know which page you're on when you look at the big picture view here. Um, the grid view, it's current. So I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm going to duplicate this page. And it puts another page which has got seven, which has got number five. So when we tap on that now to go into it, we'll be in, we'll still, it'll still say five, but we're on page, the next page. So you can see there, and then we go backwards and you can see page eight. So they'll all be under page five. So that's how you duplicate pages. You press and hold. So again, we can press and hold page eight, press duplicate, and it'll put us in page nine which is a copy of that. And you can go on in that section. And basically the way this works is that you've got your index. Oh, it's, it's selecting, it's in select mode. So let's cancel out of that. Let's click on the index. Let's put away the menu. And then we can say if this was, you know, if this was work to do's, um, then you might have team management, You might have um, some documents that you need to do. You've got a strategy meeting. So you've got strategy. 
might have some board meetings. And I would write smaller in a thinner pen, but I'm doing this just so that it's easy for you to see. Um, the, the great thing, um, of course, let's just stick to it. So if I go to team meetings, um, so this, if I go back there, I'll show you team management. So we go to uh, workbook one and we can write up here team management. And then you can start making notes, right? You can do your notes here. The Cornell is amazing. The Cornell has a line and a line. You can do summary down the bottom. Um, this is the normal lined notebook. The second one is the narrow, which I'll show you all the different styles in a second. And then you can you can start writing um, your notes. And again, if you've once you go over this page, you come here. You say this is the page you're on. So you press and hold. You duplicate. There's your copy. You actually cancel now out of the select mode and you now just press on the page. You're actually on the second page. You can uh, get rid of that. And you can see now that team management, there's notes. And look how, see how it hasn't updated that yet? That's interesting, isn't it? So we go back. If I go back and I go out of that document, when I go back into that document, it's gone there and it's gone there. Sometimes it takes a minute. And also, if you see shadows on your screen, uh, flip to the next page and flip back because that's often, I think there's a magnetic wipe that happens uh, when you finish using a page. So uh, it'll get rid of that shadow if it annoys you and you want to get rid of that. So to get a duplicate dark mode page, you must use, just to, just to recap, you must use the duplicate function. Press and hold, duplicate. That's how you get another dark page. If, let's cancel and go back, back. If you just add a page, which it'll only let you do at the at the end. But if you if from here you just use this 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 function here, if you use that, you'll insert a white page, not a black page. To get a black page, you must use the duplicate page function. All right. So let's have a look. I think um, it, each notebook has twenty five hyperlinked sections and an index. Did you see that? Did you see how that reacted to the pen? Um, and a hyperlinked index. Come on. Um, because of my nails, I have to work out how to press it. Um, this is the index where you can keep a note of everything. And the great thing about this, what I love about digital notebooks, is that you can copy this notebook as many times as you want. So let's press and hold. Let's duplicate it. So you've got a second copy now and it, it labels it copy. Can you see here how it's synchronizing there? Can you see that progress bar and here the progress bar? It's good to watch that so that you know how long it's taking. This one, what it's synchronizing is all the writing that I did in there. It's synchronizing and it takes time. So just be aware of that. Now this is a copy and what I might do with this one is call it home rather than work. So I go into the settings, the PDF settings, and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press and hold to get capitals and I'm gonna go home to do. And I'm, I like it on the first page, which is good. And I'm gonna press save. And then here, hello. I'm going to type home, because this is the, the identifier to do. Life is too short to not have things how you want them. Yay. All right, so you can see, it's put it down here because I'm sorting in alphabetical. See that? I've picked alphabetical sort and it's put num all the numbers first. And so then it's put the letters 
afterwards and that's why that notebook is down there and then if i go into that it's exactly the same notebook let's go there but now i can delete everything because i want it to be home right i missed a bit there i missed a bit there and then this one would be home and then i could start listing out here um, shopping cleaning birthdays calendars events you know all the things and i would then correlate that to all of the books so it's like your forever notebook it's eternal you've got you've got 10 notebooks with 10 different styles you can use them forever forever as long as you have a device that can work with them you can use them so i'm actually going to press and hold i'm going to delete it just because i like to keep them I like to keep track of all my files, otherwise it gets a bit crazy. Um, this is still, can you see this is still synchronizing? It's still synchronizing, syncs, syncing. Anyway, let's have a look at the style. So you know that that's a normal lined um, notebook. This one is a narrow lined. Can you see that narrow? It's very narrow lined. And look, I, I like to get groovy there and... It's in black because I haven't changed it. Let's go white and let's go. If we go medium, you're going to see because it's zoomed in, it looks really thick. But if we go thin, because it's really zoomed in, now it looks better. And that black there is just going to annoy me. But then when we zoom out, now this is, the, this is always trickier, zooming out. Here we go. If ever you zoomed out doesn't work, then go here, Whoa, just hang on, adjust view, fit to width, and you'll find that it will go back to its normal view. So that's narrow, that's the narrow view. Um, the dotted lines, I'm gonna I'm just gonna make it bigger for you. You've uh, one. This is the dotted view. You can see it's like it's almost like a bullet journal um it's taking its moment <laughs> that's the dotted view notebook then we have the cornell one of my favorites i'm going to go a different way this time just to show you the different ways of getting somewhere that's the index page this is section one and you can see here you've got your space your summary at the bottom your headings of whatever you're taking notes about and then all of that there and then you can get get back to the index here put that up close that so at Cornell we have lined we also have the Cornell here we go Woohoo! bullet so let's go and have a look at that page and it's it's faint because you know so it's not distracting you but there you can see the Cornell bullet and always takes a second to work itself out <laughs> I've shrunk it so much now there we go you've got the Cornell here and here okay then there's the Cornell blank which is our next notebook again you can reproduce these as many times as you want that's the Cornell blank so you've got space to write I, I actually prefer blank than lined but not everybody is like that not everyone's like me um, then you have the bullet, bullet style. So these all come in the 10 pack and we have a 20 pack. So there's your bullet in all its glory. There are all your dots and then you can get back. Oh, my little finger seems to work best to your index. All right. Then next we have the grid view, which some people love and it's just a series of little tiny grids then we have two columns and three columns so this is really great for planning um, and list making uh, I love columns I also love Venn diagrams they're really cool so you know you might have a, li a list that happens sometimes you think that you're not drawing it's because you've got the wrong mode selected so just be aware of that so you know you can make lists 
and you've got your columns. It's a more visual notebook. So let's hop out of that and the three columns is the same. It's a more visual notebook as well. So that's what's in the 10 pack. The, um, the cancel that, the 20 pack has all of those and all of the light mode. So I will just show you one. I'm sure you will show you the Cornell. That's the Cornell light mode and it's all the same um, in reverse. So I went and reversed all the um, pages. So let's see uh, what color are we in. I've got my calligraphy pen selected. I'm on medium black, which is great. And so we could type, this could be, you know, our work. This could be team, the team. And then we start, you know, making notes here, there, and the summary goes here. But that's the, so that's the light mode. So you, you get quite a big, big discount if you get the light mode and the dark mode together. So uh, light mode, dark mode, 10 pack of each, and then they're eternal forever. You've got 10 templates of each in both light and dark mode. So that is, that is the notebooks for Etsy. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps. Thanks for watching.